today I will be showing you my first walkthrough of my fall 10 item wardrobe. Welcome back to The Little Pink Casa. I'm excited that you're here and if you're new, I love to share things about motherhood, fashion, the 10 item wardrobe, beauty, and lifestyle. But I also throw in a vintage mix. So if you are into any of those things, just subscribe to me for more videos. This will be the first time that I will be doing a complete walkthrough and showing you all of my core pieces for my 10 item wardrobe. One of the top reasons why I like to make these fashion videos for you about the 10 item wardrobe capsule, I think it's great to show women how we can make our wardrobe work and we can buy things that are nice and still affordable. We can also dress classy and according to our own style. My style I love is classic mixed with some femininity along with um, vintage so it's a little mixed up if you follow my channel then you saw my video about fall shop with me and how I purchased many of the pieces you're gonna see in this video uh, through a wonderful clearance I found so I try to keep my 10 item wardrobe on a budget so I was really happy that I was able to put these pieces together at a very low affordable cost if you saw my other videos in the past, you saw that I started doing the 10 item wardrobe in summer. And so this is my second season doing this. And I'm excited because I'm gonna actually show you all the items put together. One of the core items of my fall 10 item wardrobe is a dress that I bought at Kohl's. The brand is L. And even though it's pink, it blends in for fall. I'm really into pink and maroon for this season and winter. So I can see how I can take it into uh, the season with layering. I really love the print and I love the bow. It is really my style. I tried on a couple of other dresses, but I really found to uh, like the way this looked on me. It's very flattering and I feel really pretty in it. My second core item is a old dress that I had already in my wardrobe and it is from Dress Barn. It's a pretty sheath dress, sleeveless and it's navy blue with white polka dots. Although it's sleeveless, I'm layering it with a white long sleeve blouse to warm it up and also a rust cardigan. I dressed it up with some crystal stud earrings and I call this my librarian look. It's really funny, but I think so. And then I'm wearing some boots from Kohl's, which are gonna be part of my staple fall wardrobe. One of the items that I was looking for in my fall wardrobe this year is something leopard. And so I found this really pretty sweater at Kohl's in the clearance. The brand is Apartment 9, and I paired it with some pretty gold earrings. And I didn't notice this before, but if you look closely amongst the leopard spots, you can see like a cat face hidden in there. Can you see that? <laughs> I never noticed it before until I was looking at the footage. But as you can see, I added a headband, and I got that at Kohl's too. And I also can tuck this sweater into my jeans. And by the way, these are Lauren Conrad jeans that I bought at Kohl's too. These are also on clearance. And I'm also wearing my black ankle boots. Another item in my fall 10 item wardrobe is this black skirt. It's by Ann Taylor. And the blouse is by Nine West. I needed some dressy business attire for my direct sales business that I also work and I think this works perfectly. I was looking for colors in maroon and pink and then here I'm pairing it with a cardigan for cooler weather and the cardigan is Ann Taylor and I'm also wearing a pearl bracelet and some black and silver Victorian cameo earrings. I feel this style is really 50s businesswoman look and I think it's pretty vintage so I love it. Another core item is this dress from Old Navy. 
I love the colors and the little flowers. It's perfect for fall. It's actually old. I bought it last spring and I thought I could pull it into this fall season. I actually pulled my hair back in a pony for this one and styled it with an avocado green scrunchie, which my daughter let me borrow. And then I'm also wearing avocado green ballerina flats, which I found at Bell's Outlet. They're so cute. And then I, we also found the scrunchies at Kohl's. I just feel so pretty in this outfit. I call it my little prowls on the prairie dress. <laughs> Here are two core items. One is a rust blouse, and that is old. I actually got it at Forever 21 last winter, but I'm bringing it back. And then I found a pretty buffalo check skirt at Dress Barn. It's Ann Taylor. I paired it with black nylons and black high heels, and I think the color combination is beautiful. And I can actually add any color with that black and white skirt. Next core item is this blouse from Ann Taylor. It's so pretty. I actually found it in the clearance at Dress Barn. If you see my video, you know what I'm talking about, the Fall Shop With Me video. I found this beautiful blouse. I knew I could take it in the fall with the colors, although I think it is probably from summer. And then I'm pairing it with the Lauren Conrad staple jeans that are also part of my Fall Ten Item wardrobe and I think it makes a cute combination. And then those avocado green ballerina flats. Although this is a sleeveless top, I'm showing you how I'm layering it for fall. I'm adding a green cardigan and I found this at Dress Barn. Again, it's part of the Ann Taylor collection that was on clearance. It's so warm and I love the color and it matches the blouse. And then it also goes with the avocado green ballerina flats. The next core item is this blouse and it's from Ann Taylor. I purchased it with the rest of the Ann Taylor clearance at Dress Barn. I know it's a summer blouse, but um, I think I could take it in the fall because of the rust it has in there. and. It's just so pretty because right now it's still warm in Arizona and I can get away with it. And I'm also pairing it with some old jeans that I'm bringing into my fall tonight of wardrobe which are high-waisted dark jeans from Forever 21. I purchased those last year. And then here I'm showing how I'm going to layer this blouse with the rust cardigan that you've already seen. Another core item is this blouse from Kohl's. The brand is L, and I got it on clearance. I love that color. It's white flowers, and the blue color is so fallish to me. Although it's sleeveless, I can layer it with a cardigan, as you'll see in a little bit, but it's perfect for right now. And then those leopard flats I found at Bell's Outlet are so cute. They're so comfortable, too. Here I'm layering the look with the rust cardigan from Kohl's. The brand is Sonoma. I have my hair in a pony and a pretty scrunchie to match and then I'm wearing pearl earrings. And this is my classic look. The core item from this outfit is the business shirt and it's Ann Taylor. And I'm wearing pearl earrings to give it a more feminine feel. And here I'm tucking it into my high-waisted Forever 21 staple jeans. And I'm wearing the black high heels with this look. And now I added a navy blue blazer. This will be for cooler weather, so it's a little warmer, but yet it has a chic and polished look. And then I'm showing you how it looks with ballerina flats. Last core item of the video is this Ann Taylor blouse. I'm pairing it with the Lauren Conrad jeans that I already wore in the other outfits. And I'm showing you how I'm using a leopard accessory, which is a scarf, to bring that leopard trend back into my wardrobe. But this Ann Taylor blouse is so pretty, and this was also part of the clearance, so 
I am really blessed by everything I found. And I will try to link all of these things in the best I can of what is available still. And if you want any information on the 10 item wardrobe, it is founded by Jennifer L. Scott. I will leave her link of her YouTube channel and her website in my description box too. I hope sharing this video with you helped inspire you for your fall wardrobe. And I'm looking forward to making more videos and showing you more of my outfits and how I actually make these clothes work going into the winter season. So be sure to look forward to that. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can see those videos and so much more. Unfortunately, YouTube disabled my comments on my channel, all my comments, and I have no control over that. So a lot of you want to know how you can get in contact with me. You can follow me on Instagram or Facebook, but I mostly connect with my community on Instagram and I post stories every day. So that would be the best place to uh, comment on this video. And thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in my next video.